Alright, well, let's try it. I'm in the shadows. Where's a mate that I can shoot? That's all I needed. I hate how they just instantaneously know where I was. Like, I feel like normally you just panic, like, oh, where'd that come from? But instead they're like, oh, it came from behind the bookcase. I know precisely where he is and his date of birth and his social security number. Like, get real. You're not that well informed. Now, if you would move, I could end your life. I can't even see you. Apparently you can see me, but I can't see you. Hi. That takes care of him. Oh, there's another mate, of course. Why wouldn't there be more? Who else? The copy and paste saga of turns. Oh, again, another mate who hates doors. I want to just point out that I didn't even try. I just kind of shot without even aiming the pointer. <laughs> I just let it do what it wanted. And it kind of worked. Checkpoint! That would be nice right about now. Killing a lot of enemies. Moving on. Knock over the pottery. Shoot the pottery. We broke the pottery. Okay. Who is going to surprise? Oh, a checkpoint. That's great. You think you can get rid of me? You goddamn run! I'm the one who belongs here, who deserves to be here. You're nothing. Without me, you'd be nothing. I just have to ignore you, Leo, and you know it. Ignore me? How about your wife's blood on your hands? Can you ignore that? Shut up! Shut up! You made me. You put me in your own head for the sake of your pathetic career. Shut up! And you cut your wife's throat. Right in front of her baby boy. Ah, I'll fucking kill you, you psycho piece of shit! So am I Leo defending Leo's honor? Am I trying to kill Daniel? There's no lock on the door. Oh! What's going on? Fuck Leo you. loses! Hooray! Right? Why is he calling me a s- well, no, I guess I am. Leo's lying! Danny didn't even kill his wife. Leo killed his wife. Danny isn't here! And he called her all sorts of names. End her life. Can't beat me now. Why not? I mean, I know I. Come on. I don't need you anymore, Leo. Well, that's great. That's the most damage I've done to you thus far. You can't. Come on. Hold on, I gotta reload. Why do you take more shots than any human should? This isn't appropriate. You need to die. You Come on. I'm pulling you with ammo. Die. Please, any minute would be nice. What is going on and why is it going on? I'm gonna die because this game is horrible. Like, I just spilled an entire gun into his body and he's not even moving like any worse because of it like he's totally fine he doesn't even care you're nothing without me oh come on just show up so I can end you already there we go 
Fuck you, Danny. I won. Fuck you, Pikmin. Fuck you, White. Fuck the project. I won. Daniel. You can wake up now, Daniel. Dr. Lamb, can you hear me? Dr. Lamb, how do you feel? I followed the protocols exactly as you left them. How long... Uh, how long was I out? You've been out for three weeks now. We... I took the decision to remove the Pikmin Bridge. It was the only way we could be sure. We're very keen to resume work on the project. Shall I gather the staff? Yes. Just give me a moment. So that was like two different endings. That's really cool, actually. Now we get to see the credits as it crashes again before our very eyes. Okay, so, oh man, uh, you know what? If it does, I can, I did save during that fight, so I should be able to try again if worst case scenario. That's cool, I like that. That's a nice feature, the good ending and the bad ending, except you didn't know you could do it. But that's really cool, I like that. That's my favorite thing about this game, thus far. One where Leo wins and one where Daniel wins. I like Daniel's winning better, though. I feel like it just has more emotion and stuff put into it. Like, it, it's cooler to me. So, I like how he gets all frustrated. He's like, I hate you! And then Leo's like, I'm the winner! You're crazy! Or something. I don't know. It's cool, though. That's, that's my favorite part about this thus far. I do wonder if you can replay other missions and it changes at all or not. I'm just going to assume not, because that was technically, I want to say, a different mission. But, I mean, I don't know. Alright, it's gonna crash pretty soon. Are we waiting for it? Are we ready? I don't even know when the game's over anymore. I don't. This LP's been such a confusing wreck. During that cutscene, I was really expecting it to like replay the beginning. You'd be like, oh, isn't that the same lady he killed in the intro? And it just like turns into this endless cycle or something. Wouldn't that have been kind of interesting? That's what I was expecting to happen. But it didn't, so... Yeah. I'm half and half on, like, continuing talking just because I'm worried it's going to crash anytime soon. Hopefully you guys got a better copy than I did. I guess that's what I get for spending $3 on it, right? Put some glass cleaner on it after <laughs> failing three times. I'm like, maybe it'll work now. And, well, that's when I found out I could skip the credits and cutscenes, and I didn't know. And it only skips certain cutscenes, actually. I guess it only skips it if you've done it before. But that doesn't make sense because it didn't count as me you know, beating the level, even though I beat it and it didn't let me save because it crashed during the credits. What sort of dipshit puts the save feature after the credits? Rockstar. Have you learned nothing from Pokemon? Save feature, then credits. That's the way it is. Or you do it like Zelda and you just don't allow them to save, which honestly kind of annoys me for some reason, but... Yeah. It just feels like, oh, well, sorry, you guess you didn't technically beat the game, because it didn't save you beating the game. I mean, I know I beat it, but it just bothers me for some reason. Donkey Kong counted it. Actually, interesting fact, you can actually get 101% in Donkey Kong 64 before even beating the boss. I didn't know that. But yeah, apparently the K. Rule fight actually doesn't count toward the percentage at all, and that's because it doesn't save it. <laughs>
save. Save over that one, because that's the file of, I don't know, it just exists. Which hope, hopefully doesn't take up that much space on my memory. Alright, so let's, let's go through these, see if there's anything else that's still locked. Everything else that we have done. So, as far as I'm concerned, this project is done. We've done all of the levels. Everything in here looks fine and looks done. So yeah, uh, Awakening was totally fine. Ghost was an okay mission. Sexual Deviance was frustrating until I learned how to play the game correctly. Red Light was not a problem. Best Friends was a... Uh, Unnecessary. Well, I mean, it, the only thing it did was say, Hey, Leo killed Guy. That's fucking great for Leo. Safe House is fine. Bees Honey Pot was, from what I remember, okay. Assassination was shit. What does that say? Most Wanted was shit. Ritual Cleansing, I don't remember much. Origins was where it got pretty good again. Uh... Yeah, that's just how I feel. Like it, not every single level was that great, but yeah, it's okay. This would totally be a game I'd be down for doing on Song of Soaring, just because I like the way it's set up. But I do agree on the I, I do still stand by my statement of no level in any game should ever take more than 20 minutes if you're gonna do a level-based game. Sorry, but that's just too goddamn much. This cut it close a lot of the time. Most of the times it took longer than 20 minutes was just because of the way I was playing it. So. Yeah, the only times it was really unbearable was Assassination, and uh, I think Origins it was. That was the one where it's like, I glitched through the floor and stuff, with the uh, sounds that would kill you, that phrase. I think that was it. Alright, well on that note, this is the best disc I've ever spent $3 on. Uh, I think it's past the 30 days, so I don't think I can get my money back or a different copy or something so I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it try and clean it as much as I can yeah this project's done as far as I'm concerned I'll see you guys later with whatever I decide to do next honestly I'm kind of curious what I want to do next because I'm really unsure I guess I could mess with some virtual console stuff or whatever I don't know but uh it's Jace 4 I'll see you guys next time with new project here I'm gonna finish my milkshake now bye Also, before I end, I just want to say this. I am touching the power button right now, and it does not let me turn off the Wii. The only way I can turn it off from this fucking screen for some reason is to unplug it. Thank you, whoever's genius idea that was.